Welcome back, Mech Warriors. This is Kong Rex's Prime coming next with some Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries, Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Fastest heavy mech in the game. This will be a breakdown of a brand new hero mech that is now available in the DLC of Heroes of the Inner Sphere, and it's a dragon. And the exact name of this dragon is the DRG SDW. And it's a heroic mech that you can get not by just purchasing or any other other way except through a quest line that's available through Heroes of the Hinder Sphere. And that's what makes this this particular mech so unique is that we can actually get our hands on it without having to kind of like jump around and hope that we can go to an industrial system and find it there, you know, by luck, by chance. This is an actual mech that you can get your hands on very early on within your first six levels of the game. Once you get to the sixth level of, of uh, mercenary rank, you can actually get the, uh, the mission that's called Crimson Crusade. And that's going to get you started. Now, I have a few videos and stuff that I'm going to put after I break this mech down to show you guys exactly how I got my hands on this mech and why I'm so excited about it. So we're going to start with the breakdown of this mech really quickly. And we're going to visit the mech bay and we're going to see what I have on this mech. So let's start with the breakdown of this mech. As you guys can see, this is a general view of the mech and what the slots are. I have a large uh, energy slot on the on that, that left arm, but I actually put a medium laser on and also another medium slot on the left shoulder. I have uh, in the center torso, I have SRM streak rack on it. And as we continue on forward, we have AMS, which I'm going to get into a little more in a second. I'm going to explain what AMS is and how it works. Mask, which is what makes this mech freaking incredible and the last thing on here is a large uh, ballistic slot which i have an ac20 there as well so what exactly is mask as you guys are gonna see here you're gonna see me kind of like boost up here and you see these weird fuzzy little blue lines on there and there is uh it, it almost acts like nos and it increases your your speed by 50 percent on your mech if your mech has that particular system installed in. now as you guys know uh, Inner Sphere mechs are not Clan Omni. Clan Omni, you can put whatever the heck you want, and it's interchangeable, and you can put anything. You can put mask, you can put whatever slot you want in whatever arm, it's interchangeable parts. Uh, Inner Sphere tech is uh, falling behind, and that's why, uh, you know, we can't do that. The mechs are built around the weapons, kind of like an A-10 Warhog was built around a cannon. Well, the same thing is with these mechs. They're all built around these weapons. And some variants, they've adjusted some stuff on it. But at the end of the day, you could only fit a big weapon of this or a little weapon of that. And make a long story short, getting some of those systems that this mech has already installed in it, you know, and any mech in this game is really, really difficult. So getting this mech uh, the way you can get it is freaking phenomenal. So let's start with um, how to get this mech. There's going to be a four-step ladder mission that you're going to have to do. Like I said earlier, it's called the Crimson Crusade. And you need to be level 6. And the level difficulty of the missions, for the most part, are between level 50 and level 60. Now, I have a playthrough that I'm currently running on Heroes of the Inner Sphere. And I also have all four of those missions uh, uh, compartmentalized into two videos. It's like part 1 and part 2. Of the Crimson Crusade. So mission one and two are in the first video, mission three and four, and the fourth mission is the dopest mission of them all. A matter of fact, in my opinion, it's probably the best mission of the DLC so far in my experience. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash some cards on what these videos look like so you guys can take a look at them if you're interested to see uh, these, these four missions in action. I pilot a Highlander through most of these missions. The first three, the last one is a little bit tricky. So so why am I ho uh, hyped up about this man? Why do I feel so hype and uh, so excited to share this information with you guys? It's because um, I, I think this is a very powerful Mac, especially early game and mid game. You know, this Mac can move around. You can use this Mac however you like to use it. Um, I, I personally like to go around and flank my enemies and try to get behind them and try to take shots in the, in the back. And eliminate them in one or two alpha strikes depending on the mech 
Second, this is a heavy mech, guys. This is a heavy mech, which means it's 60 tons, and it can move at 121 kph. That is insanity. That's like like light mech, little light mech speed, you know, for Intersphere tech. And um, the, also the agility you can have with this mech. And if you add the right talent points, you know, the perk points that you can have in the new Intersphere, and you can increase the speed, and you can increase the torso uh, movement, and you can increase uh, the acceleration, forget it. This thing, if you set it up right, it is a monster. And you can really dodge a lot of enemies with it, you know, a lot of the incoming fire. And there's one great thing this mech has, we haven't even really touched up on it, and it's that AMS cannon. Now... That AMS cannon is on the right shoulder right now. It's like this black thing that you can see kind of just shooting randomly. You guys see it? It's, it's Every time you see a missile fire by, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start shooting. There it goes again. It shoots a little bit. A square. Now I'm going to slow it down for you guys so you guys can really see it. There's going to be uh, some LRMs firing back. Look at that. It's it's consuming them. It, it, it basically knocked down about 40% of those missiles. And that is freaking phenomenal because um, you're helping your lance. You know, you're not doing nothing actively. That's an AMS anti-missile system that's radar controlled, and it's it's scanning for missiles. And whenever it finds the missiles, it just starts shooting. And as long as it has ammo, it has ammo, it's gonna keep shooting. And that is freaking dope because you can minimize and mitigate a lot of the damage that's being thrown at your lance from range, without you actively doing anything. It's just a system. So not only does this mech move very quickly. Not only does the mech uh, have mask, it's 60 tons, and uh, it has a nice array of weapons that you can interchange. I mean, you don't have to have an AC-20. You can go with a large laser and AC-10. You know, you can you know, you know, can manage this mech however you want to manage it. I play it this way because, like I said, I like to get behind my targets and and demolish them with an alpha strike or, or, or an alpha strike and a half or something like that for the most part. As long as the mechs are not heavier than than, uh, than than a heavy mech. Assault mechs take a little more, but I mean you can still crush um mechs with this with this mech. It's just phenomenal guys and it's something that I don't see too many people talking about or even hyping this mech up. And it's very easy to get. All you need to be is level six. Get on over to create a space and get this mission done, guys, and jump on this thing and let me know what you guys think because it doesn't cost you nothing but a already mission that you have to do anyways. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. I am enjoying this mech like something fierce. It's actually hard for me to want to play anything else. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day and night. Light, love, and peace. Congrexes. Macking out.